Hello, this is Spirit. I said I'd make a quick tutorial video for a friend, and here we go. I'm going to open up the female anime waiting master, which is the one with the arms out to the sides, and I'm literally just going to put a box around her ankle and export it to the previewer. And that's literally all I'm going to do. So I'm just setting up my viewpoints here and dragging a box around her ankle putting it in position roughly where we want it okay now the next thing to do now that we have this box here is we're going to set up the material for it so that it has the material that we want on it so I've got a material editor and click that clear off all the existing materials, we don't want those and multi sub object discard old materials, ok and if we go to the first box and name M square brackets 0 N square brackets diffuse colour down to white and grey button for map and select texture just something that you can recognize and know it's yours anything you like excuse cars outside <laughs> go to parent button and that button there is very important the blue and white box that makes sure that your material is going to appear on your model and then if you hit the button on the material editor that says assign to selection it will assign materials to your model with the model selected obviously now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on your box and convert to editable poly select elements drag a box around the whole model selecting everything because we want it all the one texture go down here and where it says set ID you want to set ID to 1 because we've only got the one texture there so it's the first one ID number one enter and it's got the texture on it that we want that's fantastic now we're going to skin this to the left foot bone so get rid of your material and select skin in the stack edit envelopes add the left foot bone which is there select check vertices and uncheck the other two drag a box around your model selecting all the vertices come down to rigid uncheck the other thing and knock the abs effect up to 0.1 uncheck edit envelopes and it is weighted and it is ready to be exported which we're going to do and um, just to check that it moves with our model which is exactly what we want it to do so file and export we're going to just give this a name that we recognize we're going to put it on the desktop so that we can find it quite easily your mesh is an xmf file so we're going to export it as such typing xmf at the end of whatever you name it that is vital dot xmf exporting it against the skeleton, the female waiting skeleton is essential otherwise it doesn't recognize what it does and export your material edit your material to your material is an XRF file again type in the extension XRF at the end is essential otherwise the previewer or they won't know what's happening so material.xrf again I'm just going to save it to the desktop so I know where it is that's the texture there, select next, next and finish so what we're going to do now is just derive from this shoe mesh here which is a rather beautiful mesh derive from product login and now it is literally just a case of getting everything that you've previously done and putting it 
into this model here. So tab to the geometry tab and add. OK, browse for your XMF file. OK, materials, there's a new blank one which is for your new material and add in your texture. Again, just whatever, doesn't matter. And apply changes. And there we have your box around your ankle successfully as you have in Max. And I hope that's not too complicated and I hope I did that okay for you. Speak to you soon. Good luck.